let's start from pharynx from the buccal cavity tongue pushes the chewed food into throat that is muscular tube called pharynx next esophagus or food pipe in esophagus o is silent from pharynx the food goes into a long muscular tube called esophagus it measures about 25 cm in humans when the slightly digested food enters the food pipe the walls of the esophagus start contracting and expanding means it show continuous muscular movement to push the food down into the stomach this muscular movement is called peristalsis dear student what do you mean by peristalsis the pushing down of food by the wall of esophagus in a wave like action is called peristalsis next is stomach from esophagus the food goes to the stomach the stomach is a j shaped thick walled organ present on the left side of the abdomen it is the widest part of the alimentary canal the inner wall of stomach contains gastric glands these glands secrete gastric or digestive juices which contain three substances hydrochloric acid mucus and pepsin you must be wondering about the function of these gastric juices let's discuss about the function of digestive juices number 1 hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid kills many harmful bacteria that enters with the food it makes the medium in the stomach acidic which enhances the action of digestive enzymes number 2 mucus mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of enzymes and acid number 3 pepsin pepsin digest the proteins in the food to form simple soluble substances called peptones as a result the food gets converted into a partially digested semi solid food called chyme the chyme leaves the stomach and enters the small intestine you must be wondering why do we feel choked hiccups or cough while eating dear students sometimes when you eat in hurry talk or laugh while eating you may cough get hiccups 
or a choking sensation. This happens when food particles enter the windpipe instead of entering the esophagus. The windpipe carries air from where? From the nostrils to the lungs. Windpipe runs adjacent to the food pipe but inside the throat air and food share a common passage. Then how is food prevented from entering the windpipe? During the act of swallowing, a flap-like valve closes the passage of the windpipe and guides the food into the food pipe. If by chance food particles enter the windpipe, we feel choked, get hiccups 